So today we're going to try and use the Go Press and Foil machine um, to see if it will work with a stencil. So I'm taking my card and I'm going to have it as a, a top folding card and I've also got this uh, chevron stencil which uh, comes free in the Making Cards magazine uh, in their May issue. So I'm just going to um, attach that to my card so that it doesn't move. So I'm lining it up along the bottom here. And then I'm just going to put that so as it hinges along the top. So it doesn't move once I start working with it in the foiling machine. So I'm going to pop that on there. So that's now uh, ready to, to put our foil on. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the foil so that I've got the shiny side facing up onto my stencil. So I'm just going to pop that into place and again I'm going to hold that um, in situ with a little bit of uh, washi tape just in a couple of places so that it holds. So now I'm going to take my metal plate and I'm going to place the whole of my image onto here with the metal plate underneath. So we've now got our stencil, our foil and our card. And I'm going to pop that onto the Go Press and Foil machine so that it can heat up. So uh, because I've only just turned this on, I need to wait for uh, the green light to come on for it to warm up. But once it has, I'm going to leave it on there for about a minute. So now that's heated up, what I'm going to do is, because there's a little, little, little bit of foil overhanging here, I'm just going to put a shim on here, um, purely because it will stop the foil from then transferring onto my um, sort of rubber embossing mat. And then I'm going to use um, a B plate because that is slightly thinner um, than the Go Press and Foil plate. So I'm just going to take that off a minute, move that to one side. And then I'm going to use my Go Cut and Emboss machine. So remember we've now got the B plate in our sandwich as opposed to the top of the plate here. And we're going to run that through the machine slowly a couple of times. So now we can check and see if um, our design has actually transferred over onto our card. So now we can have a look. So I'm going to carefully have a quick sneak peek. And that's come out quite nice, I think it gives a really nice effect. So we actually have that um, pattern embossed in from the stencil across the top there as well, which is quite cool. And then we have a pattern along the bottom of our card, which I think is quite cool. It gives that slight distress look to it. But I think if you uh, played around with the, um, with the actual shims and the, the number of layers that you had, you could get a more um, precise impression. So I'm now going to make this into a card by popping a couple of other bits on here and um, finishing that off for you. So I'm now going to uh, stamp uh, Penny Black's uh, flower from the Flower Gallery set. So I'm just going to peel that off and I'm going to place this onto my card. It doesn't matter where because it's going to be cut out. I'll just place that on and then I'm going to use some uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to ink this a couple of times so that I get a really nice 
impression. Okay. So we're now ready to get colouring on that. So I'm going to be using uh, the Green Apple uh, Chameleon Alcohol Marker Pen. And I'm also going to be using the Dark Sage uh, sort of colour top so that I can get a variation of colour. And I'm just putting it on for a few seconds. And I'm going to colour from the base of my leaf out towards the tip. And now I'm going to be using my uh, light peach and fuchsia pink colour top. Okay, so now we just have the centres of our flowers to colour in. And for that I'm going to be using the uh, Mellow Yellow and Warm Sunset. Okay, so these are now ready to cut out. So they're ready to go on now. So I just want to neaten up this line. Uh, so I'm going to take some of my washi tape and this is the perfect colour to just add a definitive line across my card. and I'm just going to give them a little bit of shape here so they can go like that and then I'm going to have my sentiment as well. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue and a couple of foam pads on the back of my cutout. And that completes the card.